Hello, I'd like to welcome to welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 for the Wii because it is the uh, uh, Trilogy Edition. Saking up 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Ah, okay, so today we've got the we got the two beams, as you can see, because we have the two beams, we can actually go and do a whole bunch of stuff. Um, we're going to go over here, get ourselves some expansion. Actually, I want to I want to get something real lickety split. Uh, Metroid Prime Two Game Fact. No, not Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime Two Game Facts. Ah, my hair is in the way of my eyes. There should be a map. Okay, Aegon Wastes map. Um, okay, I just wanted to make sure that I'm not going to miss something because I remember there being more more pickups in that area. I don't know if we can actually do what we want to do there, though. That's the one thing that's nagging on my head is that I remember that you can't do what I intend to do. At least you can't do everything there. Um, I should probably download these maps and check, them, check the things off that I got, but whatever. There will be an episode where I say literally nothing and just go through the, the motions. Did I turn everything on? Because I didn't check my things. Okay, headset phones. I don't know. Today was a little bit of a wonky day. I, I started drawing, but I've lost some of my motivation. You shouldn't look at too good art when you're trying to learn to draw. You will lose motivation. Uh, one of my... One of my things turned out really bad comparatively because I didn't do the, the wireframes properly. And the result is basically that one of the arms looks incredibly spindly. It looks so spindly that I'm like, oh man, I ruined it. This was a perfectly good picture, could have been something nice, could have been a step forward. No, I had to skip the step where I draw the wireframes properly. And now the whole thing looks like shit. Good job. But you know what they say, if you, don't, if you learn from something, then it wasn't a wasted effort. If you can figure out what, why, who, where, and when then hey, you might as well have succeeded, because you went someplace and you learned some things. Going places, meeting people, Dunder Mifflin. Oh my god, no. Ah, oh, that's such a sour hit. That's such a sour. <laughs> I knew there was a tricksy little part there, but I forgot where it was. Because uh, you're supposed to hold the right button and you go. This is really actually kind of annoying if you're doing it with the thingamajig. Yay! Boom, 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 boom. Energy tank acquired. Let's move on. Um, over here. Oh yeah, that's why we can't go here yet. Um, yeah. Um, how to how to put this? Um, this is a secret missile door, and those. Purple pods, you're supposed to destroy them all at once in order to pass. It, this is not mentioned on the map, I think. Actually, it is, I think. Hardly matters. What matters is that we got an energy tank out of the deal, and when you get an energy tank out of a deal, that is not a raw deal. That's hardly ever a raw deal. Oh, we should have just fallen down to get down, but whatever. Which means the only place we can go is to the Dark World and see where we go from there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
They're not even dark. They are not even dark. What a shame. Thank you, Mr. Wasp. You really made a fool out of yourself. Oh, look at how spooky the one side looks. I always like this little sequence. It's a little bit of a stupid sequence. Really has no place. Oh man, so many people are talking to me. I'm annoyed because I don't like talking, but I have to. Okay, uh, where are we going anyway? Uh, oh yeah, I want to check this place out first. Um, it's actually all I wanted to do. Oh shit, uh, can I even access that? Doesn't matter. If I remember, I have to, we'll come back here eventually for that thing over there. Don't worry, we'll be back. Uh, yeah, I remembered it correctly. There is a missile pickup over there, uh, behind door number one. Du -du 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 -du. Fun fact, we actually don't get the third beam for a really long time. It's really kind of weird. You know, I'm gonna keep saying it. If you ever get something, if you ever get a beam expansion out of it, it's never a raw deal. Like missiles, meh. Powerbomb, meh. But energy tanks and the lots, they are worth their weight in money. Wow, these night barbs are really good for- Oh, look! I froze them in place! Oh, that's super cool! Just keep up, baby, boo! Whoa, give a Where did those light guys go? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! So this is possession, which you can intercept by going into things. I don't know what it does. I forgot what it does. I don't care what it does. There it is. I know, it's not something really that worth it, but you know what they say. You know, since we're since I'm not doing all that much anyway, I guess I could just let myself get hit by one of these guys again. No, not that kind of hit. You know what, fine, I'll just look up on the map. We're gonna go over there, we'll go over there. Ah, what a wonderful mood. I'm sure that you can morph ball, jump your way up there like a crazy person. But I'm not good. I th did they? I remember that in certain versions they got rid of the infinite morph ball jump. I don't know which version. Or why or how. Um, 
Oh, we gotta get up there. Oh, there's a dark beam door. I think it actually holds an ammo station. Man, I hope that my next drawing goes a little bit better. Because the last thing you want to do when you're trying to learn to draw is get a relapse and essentially do something wrong that you previously did. Well, it shows you where your weak points are. It shows you where your attention goes and wavers as you draw. But, you know, it's kind of sour to do something wrong that you could previously do very well-ish. Oh, it's a save station. Well, I guess there should be one near the boss. I don't know, the safe station feels a bit out of place. Kira, baby, boo. Oh yes, there are Sky Temple keys, so we are coming back here later. In the dark. I forgot how Sky... Um, yeah, I haven't shown you this yet, but this is basically... The map is a lot more disjointed than it was previously. Oh. to light world um, oh it doesn't show me the keys yet because the keys are only shown in the dark world okay so as you can see they're called sky temple grounds and sky temple instead of temple grounds because because reasons reasons that I can't explain Sees the red in his eyes. Man, that song's really good. scanned it okay we're not gonna find amorphous if I remember correctly which is three giants thingy heads there are actually two forms to this guy that you want to scan there's something else these guys do namely they can stop your beacons and your crystals and break them or I think they nullify them amorphous It's a spooky ass tail it's got there. Spooky tail. Oh, that looks like such a gross thing. Oh, no, wait, they can't do that. I think they just, uh,. They hit your beacon, and they shut the beacon off. Oh, lots of uh, post all the time. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is real good professionalism. I'm just proud of myself. Wow, this boss really not having a lot of confidence. So you might not know that Dark Morbus becomes Dark Morbus for some reason. I don't fucking know. The Dark Sphere. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's a very typical boss that everyone saw coming. I do like how he requires the morph ball to kill. He's a Dodongo! He's a mother flippin' Dodongo! That's what he is. Amazing! But as we go on with this fight, there will be more of them. Um, as in literally more of them. There were three at once, and now there's gonna be more of them at once. They are unaffected by the effects of supercharging things. Because of, why would they be weak to it? The purpose is to hit them in the face. Oh, the atmosphere is so bad for me. It's giving me a rash. Man, this rash is killing me. I like how the... Th oh, no, that's just the guy who showed up over there. Hey. What the hell is your problem? Yeah, this fight's not difficult at all. It's really uninteresting. <laughs> yeah! What you gonna do about that, baby? I've got your nose! Uh oh, they're using their super dark laser of doom. Damn it, the Fritz has got us! Oh, he did shoot the thing. Goddamn Fritz. Goddamn! Damn it, god damn damn it, damn damn it! Jump in the face, my boom! Oh no, stop breaking that orb! You're killing yourself, literally. And I'm not that kind of guy, you know. Huh? I love how the oh, I love how the guns choked by this. This looks lo actually looks really good, even with the the whole you can move the beam around thing. Oh my god, I love how it just doesn't work. Which is odd because Amorphous is technically a light beam according to the descriptions. Hey, dude. Yeah. Oh! I know I want to use anything other than the good stuff. Like this light beam just makes them go. I'm a baby. I'm a sexy little baby. Ooh, he's such a sexy little baby. Wiggling and woogling about like a big old baby. Man, look at him wiggle hoops. Aw, oh, you're such a big goof. Ah, oh, he's such a big goof. I'm gonna kiss him. Kiss him right in the cheeks. Oh shit, I missed it. Sorry! I'll watch it in the, the video. And it's dark suit. B -b 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 -b. You're not resistant to the atmosphere. Look at that cool crater. It's not the. Oh, look at that! It's not the impact crater, but it's still a fancy crater. So this implies that the Lomonov had some sort of technology that protects them. Because the sphere is resistant to weapon energy, aka we become resistant to it, and Amorphous, despite not being a Darkling, is resistant to the atmosphere. So all of it implies that they, the Lumanoth, had their shit stolen and they made it into a big fat blop. The suit looks just great, by the way. Inventory. 
inventory. Whoa, see, I don't like this inventory at all. Look at how cool that looks. I think this is why they went with that really terrible rustic metal shine, is that it looks really good on this armor set. Oh, we're totally not getting a backpack or anything. That's not implied. Except it is. I don't get the systems are bypassed, where previously we were granted access. Man, I hate that I lost confidence in myself. You're not supposed to lose confidence when you're trying to learn to draw. You stupid moron. Just believe in yourself. And your cow will row. Have you ever checked that out, if what I picked up is that? Um, uh, miscellaneous suit expansion. Yep, yep, here we go. Oh, it protects you from ink possession. I didn't know that's also part of it. So yeah, um... We can just walk around, and we're not this dead. I like how this is its own little bubble, probably to stop the effects from happening. Oh man, this is such a thirsty job. And now the atmosphere goes completely bonkers. That's not the dark purpley sky we were used to. It's all red and evil. There's a tiny little easter egg I want to show before I cut off the episode completely. And it's something not a lot of people even know is a thing. I love how that's a texture and it just pops over. So yeah, we are now much more resistant to the atmosphere. Like, we can just walk around, having a ball, having a wonderful day. And our morph ball looks really cool. I really like this look. It looks like a little swirly thing. Like a yo-yo. I want a yo-yo in my fro-yo. That's how I like it. Except that I don't like fro-yo, so I never need a yo-yo. Yo-yo-yo-yo. Oh, look at this dark, evil fog. Like, they are not having this. That's why these guys are here. Because they're bad at their jobs. And they're like, mm, I want to take revenge posthumously. Fine, then. You guys go and have a blast. I'm out of here. Oh, don't worry. We'll eventually get a suit that makes us 100% resistant. But that's a ways away. You've got to focus on the here and the now. You know what I'm saying? You gotta focus on the here and the now. Anything else, you just won't cut it. Anything else! Just will not cut it. Oh my god, I can't believe it's not even giving me extra ammo. Like pittances. And we take the lower door. Wonderful day. Wonderful time having a wonderful time. Oh, that's 25. 25s are great. Look at how evil the atmosphere is now. 
Like, this atmosphere is just, just not having a day. Man, atmosphere, I am so sorry. I just, I couldn't, I had to. I'm gonna have to show these people the uh, little Easter egg I talked about, because it's a really fancy Easter egg. Pirates. Let's just start fire troopers. I don't know what the fuck they are doing here, but... I guess... So they won't hang out. I guess I have to oblige. Gonna have to oblige. Can't say no to everyone, you know. You can, you can try, but I wouldn't personally recommend saying no to everyone. A portal to the future. A brighter tomorrow awaits. Let us go to the sky, the heaven. Oh, we're there already. Great! Fucking love it. A wonderful day when no one bothers you indoors, indoors, indoors. Just a stupid little song, but it perfectly captures the reality of being indoors. Like if I had ever have to teach my children what the fuck it's like to be, you know, I don't think I'll ever have children though. That's kind of the thing. The people I'm currently hanging out with, and the circumstances I'm in, not very likely that I'll ever have any kids. I mean, like, from all perspectives. Not just because, you know, potential things like sterility. Yeah, this is how you get up there. I'm talking just like, these are people that do not want to have little babies. Like, even if we could, like, go and adopt one. Or get someone to carry the baby for us. Like, nope. I don't want a baby. I'll, be, I'll have to accept that. Even though, I don't know. I don't know if I'd be a good parent. I don't think I want to be a good parent. I don't think I can be. Where the hell am I even going? Oh, I'm going all the wrong ways. Good job. I don't know. I don't think... I don't think anyone would let me. I'm, I talk, I say things that I mean in different ways, and everyone, and then I'll raise a child who'll be like, will be, will say things that are incredibly offensive, but he didn't mean it like that because he was just too literal about it. Oh, look at that new colored. Oh, that's just sexy red or orange. It's one of the two. Hardly matters in the long term of things. Whatever, something's red or orange. So you might wonder what the fuck stopped me from just saying, "Chill out, bro." I wish he or he he'd hold. I wish that he'd hold. I wish that he had hold. I wish that he had held R until he felt the click. So there is a mechanism stopping you from straight up picking up your shit and leaving. I do, love how, I do like, by the way, one thing. The power beam is objectively worse in this game. You get this. Whenever you try to leave, every single elevator in the area gains this little no you can't go there thing to stop you from leaving. I don't know if all the elevators do it. There are interconnected elevators that let you go to the other areas. Unlike before, where Fendrano Dirt was only connected to, to the Magma Campus, but the idea sort of stands. Is that it's really about making sure that you do what needs to be done right here, right now, instead of you fucking around all the time.
But for now, we're gonna save. We're not gonna make a fuss. When a one bothers you, indoors, indoors, I say yes. And that was that. See you next time.